Uh, Glen Hope's a 10,000 hectare partial lease station. It's got a lot of forest on it, a lot of uh, Manuka, Kanuka, Matagari, a lot of scrub on it. Very rugged terrain, roughly 600 head of cattle, 200 velveting stags, bees in the summer, we're up to about a thousand hives, probably about a hundred sheep just for weed maintenance and a tourism business. Our journey to carbon farming has been easy, it was something we've been trying to do for a while. Some of the struggles out there is finding the right information and the right people to make it happen. There's a lot of consultants out there that say they know what they're doing but we found out otherwise that there's not everyone is telling the right things at the right time. Uh, and then we met Carbon Crop. So it's a big crop. Yeah. Carbon yeah, Crop a is farm. a company which specialises yeah. in mapping native yeah, no. forests or forests around New Zealand for carbon credits. They got straight into it. They had a plan in place and it was happened pretty quick and they started doing the work and it was done and we knew where it was going and we had information and we knew what it was worth and what it, how it could move forward. We specialise in it because we use artificial intelligence and machine learning to make our process much more efficient and accessible for landholders all across New Zealand. So, so we don't have to get too involved in it. At Carbon Crop do a lot of it, take a lot of the work out of it for us. We've just got to approve things and monitor and make sure it's been done the way we want it done and yeah, it's just an easy process. Once they apply for a land assessment, we will then go about mapping their farm for eligibility. We will send them an assessment to say this is how many hectares of forest could be eligible and what that might mean for you in the future as well. The best thing about carbon crop is there was no financial outlay. They only start earning money when you start earning money, so yeah, it's a win-win.